Hello YouTube and welcome to my video about falling objects. I'm going to start with a problem about a ball being thrown, or should I rather say dropped, off a cliff. And we're going to work out together how we can get its average speed, as it's in there, its final speed, which is represented by a V, its uh, time, and its time it took to fall and hit the ground. So first of all we're going to work out time. And we can work out time by using the following equation. Um, 2 times the distance divided by the force of gravity, which is the acceleration, equals time. So on our calculator and if we do the square root of 2 times 50, because that's the height of our cliff, then we times it by acceleration, times it by the force of gravity. But we're just rounding up gravity to make it easier. So it's the square root of 10. So time is the square root of 10, and we just put this, we just round it up, 3.162 seconds to fall. And now we've worked that out, we can um, we can uh, we can use this to work out the average velocity. In the average velocity, you can use the equation half g t equals v a. So if we do half, or well, 0.5 times 10, here okay, notice where I've done the kept it this kept note of the square root the square root formation, just uh, so I get more accurate answers. So the average velocity is going to be 15 15.81 seconds. So eight yeah eight one meters per second. And now that I have that, I can work out the final velocity by using the by using the the formula, the very well used formula. V x. Okay. Perhaps not very well used, but used in physics. Uh, the average velocity is the initial velocity, which is represented by u. Add a v divided by two. So how can I simplify? How can I get this down so that the final velocity is uh, is the only one on the right side? So first of all, I get rid of this two. Just multiply each side by two. Because uh, u plus yeah, V plus U. The U's and the V's, they get, they get mixed around. Uh, so, if I just take away U, then I'll get V. So, 2VA, take away U, equals V. If you're unsure about this uh, algebra I'm doing, check out my uh, maths videos, and I've got some algebra tutorials on there for you. So, the average velocity, that was, uh, that was 15. 15.81 times by 2. And then if I take that away from the starting velocity, which in this case was zero because he just let go, he didn't he didn't physically chuck the ball get down, he just dropped it. So the final velocity is gonna be thirty one point six two seconds. So just to conclude, by only having the the distance and the uh, force of gravity, the acceler I move this down. By only having the distance and the force of gravity, I can work out the average speed, the time it took, and the uh, final velocity. So if I just uh if you I find these equations quite useful to so make notes and remember. So time is the square root of two the 
over A. And I'll probably make a video about why these equations actually work and how you how you get to them. Uh, the average velocity, so V A is half times G T. And the average velocity you can work out for yourself, it's just same as finding the mean, just add them up and divide by two. And also this is very useful to remember. Distance equals velocity, average velocity, times by time. And also one more, acceleration equals change in distance, so change in velocity, divided by change in time, where that change is taking place. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll be posting another video, more detail about these equations. Uh, be sure to subscribe and comment and like on my videos. I would really appreciate some feedback about how I can improve and teach you better. Thank you for watching.